as we all realise, war is a terrible thing, and it can divide communities, it can divide families. And this is a story from the Brothers Grimm about two other brothers who were divided not by the war itself, but by what happened after the war. For these two brothers had signed up together to be soldiers for the king. And they'd gone off to war, and they'd fought bravely, and they'd survived and come back with all their limbs. And as a reward for fighting for the king, they were both given pieces of land. But after that, their fortunes differed greatly. For one brother, when he planted anything in his soil, it grew. If he ate an apple and threw the core, when it landed on the ground, an orchard would grow. If he ate whole grain bread and threw the crust away, a wheat field would grow. Oh, he prospered. But on the other hand, his brother, on his piece of land, if he planted seeds, they grew and withered. If he planted wheat, it grew and withered. Oh, his soil was poor, and as a result, he was poor. His richer brother lived now on a magnificent farm with a great farmhouse, and in the farmhouse were his wife, his children, and his servants. While the poor farmer lived on his poor patch of land in nothing more than a shed, and he had no one to keep him company. It came to one planting season, and the poor farmer planted turnips, and he expected, as usual, things to grow brrrp, and wither. Vrrp. And sure enough, the turnips grew brrrp, and withered. Vrrp. Apart from one. And that one turnip grew brrrp, and grew brrrp, and grew brrrp, and grew brrrp, and grew and grew and grew until it was an enormous turnip. Now, think of what he could have done with this turnip. He could have cooked it and preserved it and had food for months. He could have invited friends round to eat turnip. Of course, that does depend on him having friends to invite round. He, he, he could have offered it for show and charged people tickets to come and look at his enormous turnip, but he did none of those things. What he did was, he got his old wheelbarrow, and he pulled the turnip up with a lot of effort, and landed it on the wheelbarrow, and then lifted the wheelbarrow, and pushed. He couldn't afford oil. He pushed the wheelbarrow with the giant turnip all the way to the king's palace. And what did the guards see? They saw a poor, ragged farmer coming towards them, pushing a wheelbarrow with a very noisy wheel and a giant turnip. And they pointed their guns at him and said, Stand! Who goes there? And he says, just a poor farmer, a loyal subject of the king, who once fought for the king in the wars. And I have grown this giant turnip, and I cannot think of anything better to do with my giant turnip than to present it to the king to show how much I love him. And the soldiers were moved by the farmer's story. So they led the farmer into the palace, round the back way, obviously, because he was quite ragged and his wheelbarrow was quite dirty. And they found a messenger and told the messenger about the farmer who had fought in the war for the king and had grown a giant turnip and wanted to give the king the turnip to show how much he loved him. And the messenger went to the chamberlain and the messenger told the chamberlain about the farmer who was downstairs in the servants' quarters who had a wheelbarrow with a giant turnip in it and he wanted to give the turnip to the king because he'd fought for the king in the war and he wanted to show the king how much he loved him. And the chamberlain went to the king and whispered in his ear. And the king said, let him be brought. And so from the servants' quarters, the farmer pushed his wheelbarrow. <coughs> I think we have to assume there were no stairs. <coughs> All the way into the king's audience chamber. And the courtiers standing around either side of the king's throne looked at this shabby poor man and his giant turnip and his noisy wheelbarrow. And they laughed. <laughs> But the farmer, with his head bowed, his hat in his hands, 
said to the king, Your Majesty, I fought for you in the war. I was a soldier in the war and you gave me a patch of land on which I could grow things. But nothing grew for me. For years I have tended that land and nothing has grown until now. I planted this turnip and look, it has grown to this enormous size of your majesty to show how much I love you, your majesty. I present you with this, my giant turnip. And once more the courtiers laughed. <laughs> but the king said, silence! I have never heard anything so beautiful in my life. This poor man has nothing except a giant turnip. And everything that he has, he brings and gives it to me. I have never met one of my subjects prepared to show me so much love. Take this poor man and his wheelbarrow and his turnip down to my treasury. And then put the turnip in my treasury and fill his wheelbarrow with gold. And so the poor farmer, who had had nothing except a giant turnip when he arrived at the palace, left with a wheelbarrow of gold. And I can tell you he needed help to move the wheelbarrow home. And the squeak didn't get any better. But now he was a rich man. He could build a home that he wanted to live in. A home he could invite people to. A home perhaps he could have a family in. He was very happy. And of course, his brother was happy for him. No, because jealousy is a terrible thing. These two brothers had joined the army together and fought together in the war. And their fortunes had separated them. One rich and one poor. And the rich one was contented with his lot, with his beautiful farmland. His beautiful family living in his beautiful home. But then he saw... His brother, who had been poor, richer than he could ever have dreamt of being, and jealousy gnawed at his heart. And he made a decision. I will go to the palace, and I will show the king how much I love him, and then he will give me more gold than my brother. So. He went to the palace, and with him he... Oh, wait a minute, he hasn't got a turnip, has he? He hasn't got a... And he's... Well, he's got a fabulous farm, but there's actually... There's, there's, there's nothing extraordinary about the vegetables he grows. I mean, they're very good, obviously. He's done very well, but there's nothing... Nothing... Um... So he sells the farm and takes the gold. To... Actually, that's not enough, is it? He sells his house and his farm and takes the... He sells... His house, his farm, and his family. And he takes the gold to the king's palace. And the soldiers stop him. Who goes there? And the farmer says, Oh, sirs, I was once a rich farmer, but I have sold everything I had. I have sold my land, my home, and my family. And here is the gold that I have gained by selling everything I had. And I wish to give it to the king to show him how much I love him. And the soldiers thought it was remarkable. So they took him in through the servants' quarters and sent a messenger with the same story. So the messenger knew the story of him selling his uh, land, his home, his family and the gold. And we wanted to show the king how much he loved him. And the messenger went to the chamberlain and told the chamberlain about the man who was down in the servants' quarters carrying gold. Gold he'd gained by selling his farm, his house and his family. And the chamberlain went to the king and whispered in his ear. And the king said, let him be brought before me. So the farmer stood in front of the king and bowed low and said, Your Majesty, to show how much I love you, I have sold everything I have. I have sold my farm. I have sold my home. I have sold my family. And here 
is the gold that I gained from selling all of my possessions and all that I have and all that I love to give to you, to show my love and loyalty to you. And the king gasped, <gasps> and the court gasped, <gasps> and the king wiped a tear from his eye and said, never. Never has anyone shown me such love before. I mean, I have had a visitor recently who obviously did love me very much because of what he gave me, but he did not have a family and a home to sell and his farmland. Well, it was worthless. And, and, but you have sold everything? How can I... Re Take this man down to the treasury. Put his gold in my treasury and then give him my giant turnip. So the farmer was taken down into the treasury and he was relieved of his gold. The gold that he'd gained by selling everything that he owned and everything he had and everything he loved. And he left pushing, rolling it down the road, a giant turnip. But you know, I suspect his brother may have helped him out when he saw the poor state his brother was in. But that is the story of the giant turnip from the Grimm brothers. And that is how I have told it to you.